my god i i just i cannot contain my excitement and my joy for this series so i was originally going to record this in full luigi makeup because the oracle that you get is me in full luigi cosplay i decided against it because i fell asleep <laughs> And it's a brand new day, so I'm in brand new makeup. Um, but this look is not actually recorded. But like, if you guys want to see it and like see it come to life, let me know. Put it in the comments. You know, send me a message on TikTok or Instagram or <laughs> you know, yeah, that that's it. Email me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, but. Hi, my lovely hummingbirds. It's your girl Monroe, and on today's on today's episode, we are unleashing a new series here on pop culture titled "A Grain of Salt." What is a grain of salt, you ask? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I, y'all, I'm not even bullshitting the level of excitement that I have right now. Like, I coordinated everything. <laughs> The outfit has to look beautiful and like witchy-ish and like spiritual and like pretty and so does my mug. <laughs> look at it, it's all pretty. She has the moon in her hands. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop being a crackhead for five seconds, I promise. So I even have one of my crystals next to me, my little chilito frito. That's my baby. Um, <laughs> And of course, my Belia de la Virgen, because Mexicana. I love La Virgen Guadalupe. That episode of me doing, or doing a reading, yes, doing a reading about the Relatos de la Virgen, that's coming later this year. I was very overzealous in my endeavors, thinking I was going to finish everything in a day. Lord, the audacity. <laughs> When that's released, I will obviously tell you guys, right? Duh. But that's what I forgot. I forgot to put on my earrings. One sec. They're in! <laughs> no, they're not like moons or anything. They're little butterflies because butterflies are super important to me. Granted, they are bugs with wings. And I cannot say that the Spongebob episode where he sees a butterfly on his fucking helmet in Sandy's did not traumatize me as a kid. <laughs> I was like, it's all a lie. The wings are pretty. They lie to us. They're just bugs with wings. I have a thing about bugs. Um, freak me out. Depending. It depends. Because sometimes I'm just like, mm. most times though, I run, I run like hell. But... <laughs> Welcome. What is a grain of salt? Well, we are not talking about <laughs> hydrochloric. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was I was losing my shit for a second there. I also was gonna say hydrochloric thiazide, but that's like a blood pressure medication. I meant to say sodium chloride, <laughs> which is salt. Uh, essentially, this is going to be the spiritual series here on this channel. Specifically, spiritual series. Now, I know I do get mm, slightly brujita on makeup and motivation and not, mm, not so much on a few other series that are coming out, but specifically makeup and motivation, I know I do get a little brujita, but here... This is going to be the ultimate spiritual series. Um, <laughs> you ever like do some shit and then, I don't know if you've asked yourselves this, whether you're a millennial or a Gen Z or a boomer or a alpha generation, if you're alpha and you're watching me, your parents are awesome. Um, <laughs> or Gen X or all of the gens, right? Uh, you ever do some shit and then have that moment of realization of like, I understand why my parents are so stressed. 
I get why they worry for their child. Mine was that moment right now. <laughs> but they're just like, oh, this little ball of chaos is really going out into the world. Is the world ready for her? <laughs> but all my nonsense aside, all my craziness aside, this series is going to essentially revolve around spirituality. Spirituality, some religious aspects, some religious stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and give the information that I have learned to the best of my abilities to share it with all of you because I am sick and tired. I am sick and tired. Really happy I got a sturdy table because <laughs> I keep banging it. Sick and tired of seeing so <laughs> much bullshit on TikTok or sometimes, well, not so much YouTube. I guess I never come across them because I only follow certain readers, but especially on TikTok, we see so many, and I am not the only person that's like bitched about this, but so much misinformation when it comes to spirituality. I do want to say, I'm sorry, I fucked up one day. I got really excited about this past full moon that just happened. And I was like, I, I was on some shit, right? But I was like, Oh my god, it's a full moon in Capricorn, I'm screwed. No, no, it was a full moon in Cancer. I'm so sorry, personally, because... How are your emotions? <laughs> Bro, that shit wrecked me. So... <laughs> it was a full moon in Cancer during Capricorn season, is what I was actually meaning to say. But my words just went... And then afterwards, I was like... I saw this thing and I was like, oh, it was a full moon in Cancer. My bad, everybody that just saw that and ran with it. I'm so sorry. My bad. But full moon in Cancer. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit discussing like what the fuck that meant for the signs and everything. But hello? I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens, <laughs> but I can. <laughs> so... In this series, we are going, why am I quivering? <laughs> Lord, the excitement, she shakes me. <laughs> In this series, we are going to discuss a bunch of topics across spirituality and like religion for what I know, religion and things like that. Now, the reason for it, like I said, especially on TikTok, you see so so much misinformation you see so many spiritualists that well okay so my firm belief is that everyone has some form of spiritual gift we all and like to the core of our souls have a gift or a talent that we are blessed with however it is not the same for everyone nor do we all have the same gifts as far as like level wise now of course with your spiritual talents it does take practice and it takes years of practice okay i have been first off i've been into zodiacs and horoscopes and astrology itself astrology is the study of planets and stars and celestial bodies uh it's not just like specific to zodiacs uh but and it's like their impact on like us as humans I've been into astrology, into zodiacs, into all of that since I was a kid. Like, I grew up on Walter Mercado. Que en paz descanse. I grew up on... Oh my god, what's her name? She... I'm gonna add her name, but I can't remember right off the top of my head. But she's awesome too. You know, and I grew up watching that. Because my mom was always on some channel. And... <laughs> You know, Telemundo, Televisa, Univision, they, they all had their spiritual hour. So let's be real. They can't be surprised that we all grew up to be some little brujitas, can they? <laughs> and even as a kid, like when we'd get the newspaper, I'd go and get the I'd get the Sudoku and the word search and then the fucking crossword puzzle and the horoscope section. And I'd look at it and I was like, no, that doesn't sound like me. That kind of doesn't fit for the vibe today, right? When I would look at Cancer and then I would look at Leo or Capricorn and I'd be like, oh my God, that makes a little more sense. Or, oh my God, that is entirely what is this right now. 
And then as I got older and started realizing, well, there's a whole birth chart of information that essentially makes you you, I was like, interesting. We are going to get into zodiacs and astrology and all of that as well. But I've been doing it since I was a kid. I've been studying it since I was a kid. And not just that, but I've read books across multiple theologies, multiple religions. I did philosophy of religion when I was in college. I am a very, very big, like, into research. And I've always loved history. Like, I'm a bitch out here trying to be an archaeologist and work for the Louvre, you know, in, in their antiquities department. Maybe one day, if it's in the cards for me. <laughs> you know, I love, I love the idea of, like, restoration of artifacts and all that and having countries reclaim their artifacts because, lord, that's a whole other kind of thing, though. That's a whole, whole separate thing. And, you know, astrology, zodiacs, all that, studying it since I was a kid, history since I was really young. Like, I've always had these aspirations. I just not, didn't always know how to pinpoint it, right? Because I grew up in a very Catholic household. So, which, crazy, because the kid was getting limpias routinely, so... <laughs> When the culture and the religion kind of clashed a little bit, but they vibe together, it just, and the product is me. <laughs> so, we're going to get into, like, traditions and how things were, like, <laughs> paraphrased to be something else later on. But this is really an intro episode, and I'm just like, boo, 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 chaos. <laughs> You know, it's always sunny. That's that's me when it comes to all of this, honestly. Uh, I will never forget. And this happened very recently, like very recently. And honestly, it brought me to tears. So Nikki, if you see this, bitch, you made me cry, but for like a good reason. <laughs> so on New Year's, I went over to Nikki's and we were like, Friends were there, we're having a good time, we're drinking, everything. The topic of conversation of me being a tarot reader and spiritualist and being able to read birth charts came up. Pulled a few people's charts and, you know, Nikki, I fucking love you. He was, and he is not a very religious man. He is not a very spiritual man. Like, you know, he's, he has his beliefs of like, he's, he's a skeptic. We're just going to call him a skeptic for lack of a better term. And being as skeptical as he is, you know, he tells him, he's like, no, like Mari knows her shit. And oh yeah, so that's not the point. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you guys know me personally, you know what my actual name is. Uh, but on all social media handles, I am Monroe. And you know, he's like, you know, she really knows her shit. She knows what this is. Like, even when we were watching this horror movie, The Witch, which one of my absolute favorites, he's like, she was pinpointing this shit, like, to the history, like, what was right, what wasn't right, like, all this stuff. And he's like, no, like, trust me, she's good. And I give them their reading and everything, read them to filth. <laughs> read them to fucking filth. Uh, one of the people, so funny. It's like, dude, I'm literally walking in Nikki's house naked right now. What is happening? <laughs> and unfortunately, and this was a lesson for me, I didn't have a deck of cards with me. And I was slightly disappointed because I had told one of my besties, Rosie Gold, <laughs> go follow her. Amazing, amazing. She's a creator and an advocate for women and well, for people that have suffered from abuse and she does so much mental health things and trauma work and healing and all that. You definitely go check her stuff out and her spicy thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if you guys ever see me turn like this, it's because I didn't actually silence the notifications. <laughs> so I'm just peeping and see what came in. But... 
I had told her a while back, I was like, you know, I really want to do a thing where like, there's always a deck on my person because well, a message can always come up or the opportunity to like do a reading can always come up. And I bamboozled myself cause I didn't have a deck. And I was like, damn, well, I can't do that, but I could read your birth chart. So I did. And no, oh my God. <clears throat> You know, every spiritualist is like, when there is so much energy, you either get like burps or hiccups or like whatever. Bro, for me, it's heartburn. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, okay. <laughs> but, you know, seeing someone that is a, you know, doesn't really define themselves when it comes to spirituality and religion, vouch for me in that way was incredible nikki i love you um, and all my friends that i have given readings to and like even family they're just like yo this shit is spot on and i'm like thank you the reason i am telling you all this is because i am launching my services and you can definitely book me for a reading but not not the only reason I'm saying it. I'm saying it because it's taken years. It has taken me years, okay, to figure my shit out, to learn, to study, to keep working, to build up the confidence and the energy within myself to do this, to learn how to properly balance myself, guard myself, protect myself, ground myself grounding super important if you are a spiritual person you should be doing grounding work if not daily bi-weekly or weekly especially if you are giving readings to other people now the reason that i started this channel besides me being pushed by the universe to be like hey remember all those gifts that we gave you and all that information go put it out there. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Hello? They're like, yeah, go put it out there. And I'm like, but it's hard. Okay. <laughs> if you guys, you know, are very spiritual and you're watching this and you have a spiritual team and you have those discussions, you know, they are ruthless at times. And <laughs> Lord, I was just like, okay, but what if they laugh at me? Okay, and? Okay, but what if family doesn't approve? Okay, and? When have you given a fuck <laughs> what people say about you or think about you? Okay, but what if I'm not good at it? Oh, you are. But my anxiety. Oh, we're gonna help you with that. Don't worry. Okay, am I really doing this? You're doing this. All right. So I'm like, cool. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> and before I started really putting myself out there in regards to readings and offering my services to people and doing all this stuff, I took a lot of time practicing, a lot of time researching, a lot of time learning, healing, building my collection of cards and my collection of information and crystals and learning what works for me and what does not work for me, especially as a mujer mexicana, because we have our traditions, right? Now, on TikTok, there have been a lot of people and, and this is where I was just like, all right, fuck it. God, you right. I'm gonna do it because I'm annoyed. I'm tired. Some bullshit. They, I promise you, they were two steps away from making a michelada con huevo. They did an egg cleanse and they were adding all this extra shit to it. And I'm just looking like, be fucking for real. Y'all did not just put chile into what that's not necessary. What are y'all doing? And then I see so many people like flushing their shit because of like the whole thing of um, it dissipates with running water. I don't like doing that because my the way my brain works is it's still in the building. Especially if you live in a building complex, it's still in the building. Get it the fuck out. I don't want it. 
So I do like the physical thing of I take it and toss it, right? Not out the window, but like <laughs> to the trash area. And I'm like, cool, gone, done, goodbye, right? And we're gonna go into egg cleanses and all that in a separate episode, but I saw that and I was like, who, first off, are you Hispanic and who taught you this if you're not, right? Secondly, technically for egg cleanses, you're not supposed to do it on yourself. It is a last resort kind of fucking thing, at least for me. Like I've done it on myself and it, it works, but technically you're not supposed to do it on your own. You know, you, somebody else got to do it for you. And there's a whole process and method to how to properly do an egg cleanse. Then another one was El Malojo. This creator had basically given symptoms of Malojo to their viewers or whatever. And so many other spiritualists like called out against it. And they were like, okay, yes, those can be signs for Malojo. However, like there should always be a disclaimer when you give spiritual information of, the, of that sort because it could be something else. So I, my lovely hummingbirds, I'm not just gonna tell y'all like, hey, yeah, te echaron mal de ojo, ya te hicieron esto, ya te hicieron el otro, no. Like, to be a healer, you have to also think of it from a perspective of like logic and use your discernment. Is this simply just a mal de ojo or spell work or casting or like is something physically wrong with you too? Because like if your vitamins are depleted, like, okay, say, ejemplo, you come to me and you were just off a fucking three day bender getting tore up doing all this crazy shit da, 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 da. and you come to me saying you have headaches and you're dizzy and all this stuff and you don't know why and all this shit but like no i can hang like it's not the alcohol it's not me going on all these benders it's not me not taking care of my body it's not me not taking my vitamins well i'm gonna pull a doctor visit and be like okay you're gonna go do this you're gonna eat right you're gonna hydrate you're gonna take your vitamins <laughs> you're gonna lay off the sauce and then if like your shit's not improving of you taking care of your body physically and there's all this other weird metaphysical shit going on around you cool we will read the energy we'll do what we gotta do I cannot tell you to not consult your medics. I, and if you guys have seen my TikToks in regards to my endo, I've been sick my whole life. I have very real physical health issues. And so I'm always like, okay, let's go through the check boxes first of like, what's going on? Is this actually a spiritual thing or am I physically denying my seeds somewhere? So seeds, is something that I learned in my trauma program, which if you're new here, yes, I went to a trauma program. 2022. Great time. <laughs> learned so much. Got so much better in the process, which thank you to all of those women. They are incredible. But seeds are essentially your basic needs. So did you sleep right? Did you eat right? Did you exercise or move your body at all? Are you listening to your doctor's orders? And what was the last one? <laughs> uh, and you can tell I probably didn't do this one. Um, <laughs> it's self care. <laughs> it is self care. And clearly I have not been caring for myself enough to remember that. Good to know. Gotta add a little bubble bath in there now because the audacity. But <laughs> yes, so if you are denying your seeds somewhere, right? Maybe look into that first before you immediately jump to, oh, me están haciendo algo. Right, it's always, you have to like do a body scan, do a spiritual scan, check with yourself check with your guides, check with your medical professionals if you do have underlying medical conditions. And if you are new to spirituality, 
Hi, my babies. I love you. Hydrate. Keep a journal. Uh, comfort foods are going to be very essential. You're not going to want to because you're going you're gonna to be on this kick of, I'm going to be healthy and I'm going to do all these things. And that's beautiful. Fluffy stuff, also encouraged. I'm all about soft things. I, I don't know. I have a thing about touch, but it is my love language. <laughs> Makes sense. Fluffy things, very like warm things, all going to come in handy because you are in for a motherfucking ride to all my babies out there. Now, to all my other spiritualists and people just curious about spirituality. Me seeing all this shit on TikTok, I was like, this is wrong. <laughs> all of this is wrong. What the fuck, right? And then I started seeing the bullshit tarot readers and the bullshit oracle readers and the people that really don't know what the fuck they're doing and are messing with things that they don't understand. It takes more than one creator. It takes more than one video explaining things. It takes more than one TikTok to understand how to read Tarot. Look at her, she's so shiny and pretty. Okay, it takes so much more. You have to learn how to understand the cards. You have to learn how to read the cards, the symbolism behind them, the history behind it, the imagery on the cards, because it is essentially a practice of card reading. You like my nifty little definition there? <laughs> so cute. It's a mouthful. I don't feel like saying it, but <laughs> you know, they each, it's 78 cards. They each have a meaning and I have seen so much shit. <laughs> And people lying, people lying, bold face lies on the meanings. Granted, Tarot is a spiritual, intuitive practice, of course. However, if you're deviating way into left field out of the comparison of what the cards actually mean, then just do an intuitive read. Then you are not using the cards as your guidance. You also have to get to know your cards. You have to be with them. You have to cleanse them routinely, okay? If you are using, sorry baby, I'm yelling at you. If you, <laughs> if you have to, if you have to, yes, you have to. If you're using them to read for other people, you have to routine, like after every person, cleanse your shit and cleanse yourself. And it takes time and it takes energy. So that's one of the things about that kind of stresses me out on some of these social media platforms is the lack of understanding of how intense a spiritual read can actually be because I'm not just reading you, right? So I'm asking for guidance for you from your guides, from higher dimensions, from all this stuff. And I'm tapping into your energy with my own. It's an exchange, which is why all my readers out there, be very careful who you read for. <sighs> While it's hard out here, inflation's a bitch, you can't read for everybody. Not everybody has a good intent for your service. Sad, but very true. So, you know, I've started expanding more. I did a live a couple weeks ago, I might do one today on Instagram. Tee -hee. And this posting, you know what? I did a live today on Instagram and we're just gonna say that because I'm gonna hold myself accountable with this video posting later tonight <laughs> of me recording. And the first one that I did, I was so, I was so nervous. Oh my God, the anxiety, right? Because I read for my friends. I love them. You know, we have discussions. I am like, you know, they're, I don't know, spiritual concierge. I, I don't know, I, words. Uh, <laughs> um, but if there's a message, which usually there is, uh, if there's a message and I'm like, you know, do you want a reading? Cool, I'll do a reading for them. Or especially one of my besties, she'll do a reading for me. And 
it's always hit. They're like, yo, this is accurate. Yo, this, yo, this. And then they're like, mm, hmm. And then I'm like, hold on, we're not done yet. Let us clarify, let us see. And then it always ends up making sense. <laughs> but in spite of all this experience, right? All these times I did all these readings and all this research, I was still skeptical of my own abilities. And I was like, shit. Am I actually good enough to do this? Am I actually gonna do this shit? Well, apparently I'm doing it. Hi. <laughs> Your local Mexicana brujita. Doing it. Um, <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> I went ahead, I did the live, and it hit. It resonated with people. I was telling people things, and then they were confirming it, and I was just like, wow that's wild <laughs> because as i spoke about in my previous couple of episodes it, the hardest thing to admit to yourself is hey i'm good at the shit right like i can do this i know what the fuck i'm doing i know what not to mess with because it's not in my path to practice certain things even if i can study it can't mess with it so that's what this series is about it is teaching y'all what I have learned on my spiritual journey this is simply an intro video so we're not going to get too deep into astrology and tarot and everything that the cosmos has in store but also I just I'm gonna I'm gonna show this off it's so cute <laughs> like when I tell y'all my space is ready we are ready to do this shit but <laughs> I look forward to answering questions that you guys may have about things uh learning things from you you know like we can learn from anybody at any point in time because like I've been doing this forever and a day but like a baby witch or a baby spiritualist or however you decide to call baby oracle however you decide to call yourselves you might see something new from a different perspective that many of us might not or you know like knowledge is interchangeable is what i'm trying to say with that but i am going to essentially teach you guys about everything that i have learned uh, I am going to be releasing like fuller, fuller length, what are words, full length videos of everything once things are completely launched that you can, you know, purchase because uh, it's going to be a whole like masterclass, honestly, and you won't have to wait a month for me to Put it here on YouTube and all that stuff because you know it's gonna take me time especially since I am gonna bounce around between a few different topics but next week what we are going to start with as far as spirituality goes because I am so sick and tired of bullshit that I've seen <laughs> is that all we are going to start with the history of it, the whole why it started, the purpose of the cards, everything, and then break it down from there. Now, as spirituality goes, at least in my journey, and this is the thing, everything that I am teaching you is from my personal journey, my understanding, all of that. I do not have a degree, okay? <laughs> I am not a medical professional. I am not a holistic medical professional. I cannot tell you like this 110% sign sealed delivered. No, because life is ever changing, time is ever changing and your actions maneuver things, right? Energy is ever flowing. So this is why it's titled a grain of salt. Everything that you learn on a spiritual journey you have to be able to use your discernment, my loves, and understand that your journey is not the same as everyone else's. You will learn things, you will take what you need, and 
you will find your own path amongst it all. But take everything with a grain of salt. Take everything with a pinch of lightness and a pinch of discernment. For all that you hear, for all the knowledge that you learn and take in. So, welcome to A Grain of Salt. The series where I will discuss all things spiritual and everything that I've learned in this journey. And we're going to talk some healing shit too because, you know, why not? Also, as we discussed that all, there are many things that are going to be interchangeable between different aspects of spirituality and that all. So just be aware of that because it's, it's going to get real meta. And you're just going to be like, oh my God, everything connects. What the fuck? Which, you know, it does crazy shit. Um, <laughs> but that's it from me for today for this beautiful intro, this chaos ass intro, honestly. Um, oh, wait, no, I can't leave y'all without just telling y'all what the fuck the moon was all about. <laughs> my bad, my loves. So this past full moon that we had in Cancer was all about how our emotions affect what is essentially our leading signs. So our sun, our rising, and our moon. So I'm gonna do a series eight on <laughs> words. I am going to do a series on TikTok uh, for each like zodiac sign, just a minuscule of like how the moon, the moon, how this full moon essentially is affecting you up until the next full moon that we're getting, uh, up until the next new moon that we're getting. Yes, the new moon. Um, and I'm gonna break it down there more, but essentially it had everything to do with emotions in your placements and where necessary adjustments need to be made. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy that series when I post everything. Uh, go check out the Divine Masculine Twin Flame reading that I did, because I did the Divine Femme months ago. And the cosmos said, all right, tell the divine masks what they need to hear. And I'm like, mm -hmm, it's going to hurt a little bit. Bit win. Is mask short for masochista? I'm fucking with y'all. Okay. Also, to everyone that is new, welcome. Uh, I say a lot of innuendous shit at times. A lot of crazy shit. And I also cuss like a fucking sailor so if you are not okay with this and this is not your way of like receiving information spiritually that's okay too but like you know share my shit maybe somebody else does who knows who knows okay that's it now you're gonna get your reading from luigi <laughs> approximately a year ago it happened uh yeah a year ago january 11th 2022 and I was so nervous I was so anxious so like I said this has been a long time coming a long time in the background a long time being meshed together and put together for your viewing pleasure my lovely hummingbirds um but yeah so I hope you guys like the reading it is from the moonology oracle deck so we're not jumping straight into tarot this is the first reading so this is when you're gonna get I hope you like it I hope you resonate with it if you do cool if you don't awesome and I will let you guys know when I launch everything to book my services which is very soon I'm so excited okay I'm done being a bouncy bitch I love you guys so much as always Follow me on all of my handles. And if this is where I'm leaving you and you don't want to do the reading, that's cool too. Les mando mucha paz, muchos besos. Y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna. Sending you much peace, many kisses. And reminding you to always look up at the moon. I love you all so much. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I love you. Bye. 
So that was like the shortest makeup video I've ever done on here. Um, and I decided I'm just gonna do a, I got a new deck. Ooh, he's shiny. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're just gonna do a quick card pull because why not? It is from Moonology. I am going to read like the description or whatever because I don't know. Why not? It's there. The description book is there. <laughs> Chaos just. <laughs> I really tried to make that work. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Alright, what's the collective. Read. What's the collect? I know I'm in cosplay and reading tarot cards. What is my existence? My dad must be so proud. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we have to step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So pretty. A time for healing. Yeah, that does say that. Balsamic moon. I was like balsamic, like vinaigrette. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dang, what were the cards? <laughs> uh, step out of your comfort zone. Oh, beautiful. Wow, this is like super informative. It gives me like a whole little spread thing. Cute. I mean, obviously, step out of your comfort zone is very, very freaking obvious. Like, that one thing that you're scared of doing because you have no idea, like, are people going to like it? Are people going to hate it? Da -da 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 -da. Who gives a fuck? Just do it. Why not? I mean, look at me. I'm sitting here reading Oracle cards and full Luigi cosplay. What is my existence? Why not? Just do it. And then also, this was the hardest freaking makeup look I've had to do yet. I Trust me, I've played a dangerous game with glitter many times, but this was insane. Oy. <laughs> hmm. Where did it go? Oh, stupid. I should probably be looking for the... I lost it. Hello, Mel. You got me done it all wrong Without a dream in my heart Without another of my own Is that copyrighted? <laughs> um, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. You've got this. Stop obsessing over people and things that don't fucking matter. To attune yourself to the moon, say the following, I know I'm headed in the right direction. Stop being fearful. It's really pretty, it has a really pretty meaning. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, do the work that it takes. And then a time for healing, balsamic moon. If you want to attune is when one is healed, all are healed. Um, it's time to let go of the past. You're about to turn the corner. You need a little more shadow work to do. And think about the situation, what it would look like. So basically what it's telling you, that thing that you're stuck on in the past, um, yeah, no, leave that shit in the past. It is 2022. Sorry. <laughs> Abuses my book. It is 2022. We're no longer paying attention to that bullshit, to that nonsense. If it's in the past, it's in the past. Do like Rafiki says in Lion King, why does it matter? It's in the past. Same shit. Granted, yes, your experiences and your past lessons do help you to pave the way forward. Take that and the rest that does not serve you, let it go. Take a leap of faith. Do what you need to do for you and do something fun, something that inspires you, something that keeps you going. And, I mean, what's the alternative? You either do it and you learn something or it is amazing 
or you don't and you're just always left wondering why. Also, yes, I'm gonna be doing a lot more spiritual shit on here because why the fuck not? When I'm going to do it, I don't know, just stay tuned. She's just gonna pop out of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this look. All right, that's the end of the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Love you, bye.